Hey everybody, this is Ray Ogilvy from Hartsville, South Carolina. And this large, impressive mushroom we're looking at here is the famous vomiter mushroom. Chlorophyllum molybdites, also known as the false parasol. And it's responsible for more poisonings than any other mushroom in the country. Researchers still don't fully understand how the toxins work. But reactions to them can be very severe. These include dizziness, vomiting, and diarrhea. This is a very common mushroom and it can be found over much of the United States. It can be recognized by its large cap that starts off white but turns slightly brown with age. And the cap has scales on it. These scales are more numerous on younger individuals and tend to fall off as the mushroom ages. It also has gills, which start off white and turn darker with age. And a narrow stem with a skirt around it, known as an annulus. But the surest way to identify this mushroom is by the color of its spores. Here's a specimen that's overlapping a couple of others. and you can see where it's dropped its spores on them. The spores are green. This is very uncommon. Very few mushrooms have green spores. If you come across a mushroom with all of these features, you certainly wouldn't want to eat it. Unfortunately for some people, this mushroom has a look-alike. It's very similar to a mushroom known as a parasol. And the parasol is edible and quite tasty. Interestingly enough, people who have tasted the vomiter say it's quite tasty too. As a result of these mushrooms being so similar to one another, people are poisoned by the vomiter every year. But fortunately, it's not fatal. And there have been no reported deaths from eating it. It's just a very unpleasant experience that you'd rather not have. Thanks for watching.